Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to check out a Patreon request from this Patreon right here. Ask us to check out Naglfar Seracloth. Uh, first time checking out this band on the channel. They just released an album May 8th. They released a brand new album with Century Media Records. This is the name of the album. This song, obviously if this is the name of the album, this song is from the new album. I, I didn't get a chance to check out this album, but we're here to check out the song. And yeah. to me, uh, it's a good way to go. We, we're going to discover, I, I honestly, I perhaps this is my fault, but I've never heard any track from the band before. So I, mean, I don't blame you because throughout this whole quarantine, you've been doing oh, a there's lot of... So, there's so many bands to listen to. I mean, exactly, and you've been doing a lot of interviews and album reviews. Yeah, so. I'm getting a little bit, like, I'm stretching myself a little bit too thin. Yeah. So I can't get to everything, but uh, hey, the patron asked us to check out this video, this song. Perfect way for us to get introduced to the band and, uh, and, and check them out for the first time on the channel. Yeah. Why not? All right, you ready for this? Yeah.
All right. Oh. What did you think of that track? I, I, you got to start because sometimes people criticize me. They say that I don't let you talk. I don't think that's true. No, that's not true. It's just that... Uh, sometimes you have nothing to say. Yeah, sometimes I have nothing <laughs> to say. And you know, if you have nothing good to say, then don't say anything. I agree with you. If you have nothing good to say, just don't say anything at all. All right. Well, I have a lot of things good to say about okay, this. So if you, <laughs> okay, so if you have a lot of good things to say about this, so let's hear it. Oh, that was absolutely amazing. So f fast pace. It's it's very nice to just sit down and be woken up, because it, it, especially because you just took a nap. I just took a nap, <laughs> so, so this this woke me up for the rest of the day. <laughs> this energized you for the rest of the day. Exactly, you couldn't have picked a perfect band to do today. It, it, just so fast paced. I love his, his vocals are so it, are so fast. Also, usually when it comes to black metal, sometimes the vocals are like slow, but they kind of catch up with the fastest I, I, know, I know exactly what you mean they're they're, they're 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 not fast as the track is but they in their slowliness it seems like they're still able to catch up to, yeah. to how the track but is moving. in this guy's case he's neck and neck with the guitar i mean they're both going 100 miles per hour the guitar have that norwegian evil black metal yeah. sound to it you know what i'm, you know what yeah. I'm talking about like that it's coming like from the deepest parts it kind of, of goes hell up and then it kind of goes back yeah, down yeah, yeah. into the into the dark cavern of norway yeah yeah i, I feel that way about yeah. the guitars too what, what did you think of uh, of the drums on the track because i thought oh, the drums were great amazing i mean the guy was just ripping it up it, it, it gave the song I, like... I couldn't, I couldn't air drum him justice. To, to me, the, the drums really set the tempo of the track. They, they set everything in motion, right? Like they were the foundation of the song. And it allowed for everything else to be... To fall in the footsteps. To fall in the same footsteps and, and just trail that, that, that path. And, and it's it absolute, the song absolutely rips all the way through. The, the, it's not like, you know... Th there's one part where it doesn't slow down, but it has that break. And I really like that with the yeah. guitars coming in and out. Uh, like it has that break... But that's about it. Be before that and after that, it's just like it's just, absolutely demolishing. Yeah. The track is demolishing. Um, I love the drums. I love how powerful they are, how heavy they are. Like I said, it, it, the, 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 the drums give the, the track, the not only the path, but they give the track this nice little solid bass for the song to then... Um, it, it's like the foundation of the track and then everything else gets built on top of it, right? So the, the, I felt that the tracks were, were so... Uh, big as far as the volume that they had, uh, so powerful that they gave the song such a nice wide bass. It, it allowed for everything else to, to be as good as it was because the guitars don't don't have normally, and, and, and that's how they work the way they do, they don't have a thick sound to it. They actually have a very narrow sound the way the riff sounds is so fast and it's ripping it up. It it, it it's almost like uh, like a, a samurai blade cutting through the wind. It, it it just it rips really quickly. Like it's like a paper cut. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't have. They don't have the chunkiness. The the guitars don't have chunkiness to it. The, the, the that chunkiness is coming from the drums. The guitars are more thin in their sound. But oh, it's so fast. It has. It, like I said before, it has that Nor Norwegian like black metal sound that comes from yeah. the deepest parts of hell. Like I, I, I picture if uh, if the gates of hell opened, that guitar sound is would be exactly what would come. Like instead of the noise of the doors like creaking open, like you would get that guitar riff yeah. as, as, as the doors are opening up. I, I feel that way about it. You know what I mean? It has that sound. Uh, the vocals to me, I agree with you. I, I, f I felt that not only the vocals accompanied the song perfectly from beginning to end, the, the tone of his delivery... It was like screaming, harsh, uh, uh, almost raspy. It, it, it was like, it, it was kind of a, um, what do you call it? Like a, a mix of, of, of different approaches in the way they sounded. So like you can still understand what he's saying, but he also sounds like he's coming from the same place where the riff is coming from. Yeah. Do, do you know what I mean? Like it, it, it feels like he was the one that opened the door, you know? So like he has that, the, the way the... the, the the darkness that the guitar riff has and the sound, he has that same darkness in his, his voice. voice. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I really digged it. I thought it was great. And it just drives the song forward. And then seeing the video, the, the video had to me, the video had a little bit of, of well, obviously you didn't grow up in my era. I mean, it would have been impossible. Uh, but growing up in the 90s, watching uh, MTV had Bangers Ball. We haven't talked about Head Bangers Ball in a long time. A long time. Uh, watching MTV had Bangers Ball, you always gravitated to the visuals, which was the music video, because you, you you know you you heard the music, but the video sometimes sold you 
on a band. Yeah. yeah. Because you've never heard of a band before. You would see that video. The same way sometimes you would see a video and there would be a guy wearing a t-shirt of a band in the video. And you're like, fuck, man. If this guy's wearing that shirt, the band must be good. And then you would go and check out the band. That's how you, you would discover bands. So this video kind of took me back to that old school uh, late 80s, early 90s headbangers ball where, where it, the video is not fancy. They're all just in one area, but they're all headbanging and all you see is hair. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. all you see is hair. Well, with the exception of the drummer and the singer, but all you see is hair. And the, and the other guitar player. Yeah, but but there was some shots when you see them headbanging and all you see is hair. It kind of took me back. The video is, is simple and its approach is not like really overly complicated. But for a song like this, the song has to do all the talking. You don't need... A turn me on Catilot video. Do, yeah. you, do you see what I'm saying? It, it takes away. It would take away. Oh, imagine if those turn me on Catilot videos back in that day. On uh, I, I don't think. I don't think they would play them. I, I think MTV would totally not play those, those those videos. But anyways, this was a great track. Great request from uh, one of our patrons. All right, guys. This is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.